This is the B-Link U57, a tiny desktop PC designed to be low cost, power efficient, and give you just enough juice to hop on a Zoom call to help grandma debug her reverse proxy. If you've ever searched for mini PCs, then chances are you've come across many B-Link devices, so this is probably nothing new to you. This specific model is equipped with an i5-5257U, which is a dual core, four thread laptop CPU, eight gigabytes of single channel DDR3 RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SATA M.2 drive. For I.O. on the front, you have a couple of USB 3.0 ports, two of them being type A, one being type C, as well as a headphone jack. And around the back, you get dual HDMI 1.4 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, and gigabit LAN. Oh, and on the side, you do get a micro SD card slot. Now, yes, I know these specs didn't exactly make you go six to midnight, but it's not really designed for that. Like I said earlier, this is designed to be a low cost and low power system. I paid $100 on eBay for this last year, and depending on which model you go with, you can find them from $50 all the way up to $500 for some of the recent models. Now, I know what you're thinking, Brett, why would I want something low power? Isn't the goal of your computer to be as powerful as possible in an attempt to attract a compatible mate to watch anime with? No, go outside. Sometimes low power is a good thing. While the benchmarks on this thing are straight cheeks, that's okay considering at idle it only pulls around eight watts. Well, actually that depends on what idle means for you. For example, these devices are designed to be shipped with Windows and serve as a cute little desktop machine for basic productivity. However, when I was running Windows on here, idle power consumption was 15 watts due to all the overhead. That doesn't really sound like a big deal until you realize that's just enough to power on the built-in fans and dear God, this may be the worst sounding fan I've ever heard in a device. It's loud, it's whiny, and it seems to decide to be annoying for no reason at all sometimes. It's basically a baby. Now, if sound isn't a problem for you and you just want a tiny PC to run Windows on for productivity work, then I guess it's good for that. My use case is slightly different. You see, this processor supports Intel virtualization technology, so it's a really good candidate for a little server to add to your home lab. Would I recommend this as your production server? Maybe. I don't know your life. For me, this is a perfect little test server that I can throw in its own VLAN, expose to the outside world, and test all my dumb shit on it, all while pulling like 10 watts. One of the downsides on here though is the lack of storage and expandability, which makes sense. I mean, this thing is about the same size as a single 3.5 inch hard drive, so yeah. Now, it does support a single M.2 SATA SSD as well as a 2.5 inch drive that you can mount to the case, but you need a specific ribbon adapter for it, and I did not receive that with my used unit. So is this gonna be your next NAS setup? Probably not, unless you wanna run everything over USB, which I really don't recommend. It is, however, a fantastic device for me to throw in my server rack far away from the office and have it run Proxmox to spin up some Docker containers or different operating systems to test. Right now, I currently have my production server and my backup server running, and while I can test some things on there, I like the idea of a bare metal device that can be completely separated from the rest of the network and have no real use other than experimentation. So for that reason, and at this price point, I'd strongly recommend picking one of these up if that's in your wheelhouse. I'll leave a link to this specific model down in the description along with some other models with different specs that I think may be a better deal. I can already hear some of you nerds heading to the comments to let me know that an old used desktop would give you more power and flexibility than this for the same price. Yes, you're right. But sometimes you don't want bigger and more powerful. That's like telling a soccer mom Instead of buying a minivan to shuttle all of her demon spawns around, she could have just bought a BMW 4 Series instead. Like, yeah, but no. So that's my five minute review on the B-Link U57. I know I'm like half a decade too late, but these things still sell like hotcakes, so I figured why not give my thoughts? If you wanna know some specific benchmarks or tests, then 
hit me up in the Raid Owl Discord and I'd be indifferent to run them for you. If you like this video, then please drop a like. If you like content like this, then please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.